Disco Operator. The TNBC booth. Just waiting to talk to Eric. Super popular booth. The GoPro that attaches to night vision does not impede your vision at all. Super legit. At the mechanics booth getting ready to record. Honestly, I've spent a good portion of this day being Jet's camera woman. <laughs> So he sets everything up and then I have to go stand behind the camera and record. The ICS booth right now and ran into the guys from Extreme Airsoft again and they are still talking about the TNBC booth because there was so many cool things there. So we're still really excited about that. Oh, the Unity stuff, like the pressure switch. Well, when we were up there, I was talking Hard at work, Instagramming. And the guy from Unity said <laughs> that. At the PTS booth right now, look who I ran into. Hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was not. I like, didn't, she didn't no, watch the hands. You didn't play hands. I was not. I was not. I was like, It's called okay. straight chicken and cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Fucking <laughs> On the field. On the field. Chase. Chase. At Shaw Show. <laughs> Are you jerking a sky dick? Yeah. I'm jerking a sky dick. I'm playing sky dick. Code red headset. Stop by this booth. Talk to our buddy Ferris. I think right now it might be like 200. Mostly talking about Jet's YouTube channel. So cool. At the Elite Force Umarex booth, and I ran into some old buddies. What's up, guys? Hammer from Extreme Airsoft in Southern Rhode Island. Sorry, I don't have a voice right now. It's been a long shot show. Because it's Vegas. Vegas, baby. <laughs> That's how we do it. We love the life of shot show. Airsoft industry here is phenomenal. There's so much cool stuff that you guys gotta check out. These guys have probably been putting together some sweet videos for you guys. All the products, the prototypes, things that are gonna be hitting the airsoft market. And we are so excited to be here and actually meeting our friends from the West Coast, <laughs> Miss Airsoft Unicorn Leah, mm -hmm. who and we've Jet. known for some months. Yes. <laughs> so. We uh, are probably going to be going to Extreme Airsoft on August 22nd for their one year anniversary. So, Rhode Island, we're coming for you. Yeah, mark, mark your calendar now and just take off work, school, whatever. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you're dead, just rise from the dead. <laughs> be there. There you go. There's a gift. And hey, pop a clip. Oh, hey, what is this? Tell me how it Hanging out Maybe in the Vulcan suite yeah. right now, checking out some of their new products. It's kind of cool to be able to chill out. Uh, they're in the Venetian, have a suite here. So all the guns are up. While just interviewing people, I'm hanging out on the couch with Backstreet Airsoft. Jeff. And Daryl. I wish I had the, wish I had the horse mask, but it's over there in the it's interview Because room. I've been walking all day, and it's really nice to be able to sit down and put my feet up. So that's what I'm doing while they're doing real work. Mm. You've got some fancy 5'11 shoes, though. Yeah. Tell us about those. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> they're blue. <laughs> they're blue, and they gave them they to me. They are called the recon trainers, and they're comfortable, and so I wear them. Nice. That's the information that I know. <laughs> there we go. These are the summer mountain combat boots from Belleville. Oh, size 14 wide because yeah. you're a They're mammoth. Yeah. <laughs> I just got back from dinner with uh, one of Jet's buddies from the law enforcement world. Couldn't record anything tonight because um, this dude is like apparently some sort of special dude. Like, don't know if it was his real name, can't show his face in anything. So. That's why I didn't record anything tonight, but it was pretty cool to get to hang out with somebody who is so deep in the industry. So, uh, I'm really worn out, and I'm tapping out for the night. Everyone, you can call me out on it. Can't hang. I'm going to bed. I'm playing camera woman again. I'm really
really digging the SR47. I'm just gonna, I, just, I work for LBT now, guys. <laughs> yeah, you want a bag? You can have that.